a recession that you need to start. Let's not waste no time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into it. So as of today, right now, when this video is being recorded, we are currently experiencing certain things in the world, such as the NBA being suspended, the stock market crashing since the last time, which was 32 years ago, and also schools being closed due to what's currently going around right now. So I just want to come in and talk to you guys about a couple of business ideas that always make it through recessions or make it through down times in the economy. First thing is gonna be childcare. Childcare is always gonna be something that is going to be needed, especially because lots of people are gonna be doing one or two things. They're gonna be doing overtime to make more money to survive the, the down times of the economy. Or two, they're gonna be getting a part-time and or second job. And if they're gonna be having more jobs, they're gonna be needing more time for their children, elders, and or pets to be taken care of. So something that you can look into getting into would be daycare. And what I would also recommend is if you're gonna do daycare and you wanna want for it to be a solid business, I definitely would get with your county or your state to see if your home can actually be approved where you would be able to set, accept regular clients as well as government paid clients where you'll get your money automatically and it will be on a consistent basis. Boom. The next thing that you definitely want to get into is repair. Repair is always going to make it through a recession. Here's why. People usually want to, A, fix what they already have. Nobody in the recession, in the downturn of, of an economy, is looking to buy brand new things. Brand new things turn into luxury things when your money is strapped. So if you know how to repair something, on here I use an example of smartphones. Let's be real. Let's give an example. Many of us have smartphones, and your smartphone has insurance. In order for you to get your smartphone from your insurance, it'll either cost you $150 to $200. Now, there are a lot of repairs, re repair places that are popping up that will fix your phone for $50, $60, $75. Now, $50, $75, that's much different than $150, $200. So if you know how to repair something like smartphones, if you know how to repair something like appliances, if you know how to even repair clothing, okay? People are looking to get the maximum use out of the things that they already have. So they're not looking to buy nothing new. They're looking to get what they already have repaired. The next thing, the next business that you can look into that makes it through a recession is thrifting, okay? For those of you who have not seen my how to start a boutique video, please look at the, the card slide up here at the top right or look in the description below. Thrifting is going to be hot. Why? People are not trying to buy new clothes at retail price, but they still do want a good value. So for those of you who are good at thrifting or have a few things laying around your home, you can easily start an eBay store. You can easily start a Poshmark store where you sell brand name items for cheap prices or if you're into that kind of thing, thrifting can be bartering. You can start to use the barter system. Hey, I have this AB thing. You have the AB thing that I need. I have the AB thing that you need. If it's of equal value, let's trade, right? So thrifting is a business you definitely want to get into and look into while this is a current downturn in our economy. The next thing you want to look into, especially for those of you who are good with budgeting, Budgeting is hot. Budgeting is, has always been hot, but budgeting will definitely be hot in the downturn of a economy because people want to know, how do I keep up with the money that I do have, right? Let's forget making more money. I just need to keep up with the money that I do have. So if you're good at making budget planners, grocery lists, if you're good at couponing, if you're good at creating you know, money tracker sheets and tips and tricks, this is your time to create a YouTube channel, create a website, and start selling your knowledge and letting people know what you know. And you'll help them save money. You can even do one-on-one -on -one consults with people letting them know, hey, let's go through your budget or let's go through how much you make. Let's see where we can cut some corners and get you and your family some more money. The next business you want to look into is cooking, not just any kind of cooking, not that luxury cooking where we're going to be cooking shrimps and lobsters because in the downturn of an economy, that's a luxury. You want to know how to 
show people low cost meals, budget friendly meals, make a meal stretch, family size meals, meals that can help people get through a possibly hard time on little and bare minimum and it be creative. Nobody wants to eat the same rice, chicken and beans every day. But if you're creative with these type of ingredients, you definitely want to look into sharing what you know, okay? Creating some type of book, creating some type of show where people can even donate to you or buy your book or buy your recipes. I know people say, well, recipes are on line. Yeah, recipes are online, but let's be let's be honest. You want to know how to make it. And most of these recipes online don't show you that. But you can do that with your cooking, your YouTube channel, your website. And now, you guys, I'm just going to share with you guys some honorable mentions. You definitely can still become a hairstylist. You guys already know. I talk about how to become a braider, but hairstylists are going to still be needed because people still want to look good no matter if it is a downturn in the economy. But the only thing is people aren't going to be paying for the most expensive hairstyles anymore. They're probably going to be looking for the more budget-friendly or affordable hairstyles. So definitely still set up your braiding business, your hairstyle business, and get that started now. The next honorable mention is going to be resume writing. Yes, people want to look for jobs now. People are going to need extra money. That means they have to brush up their portfolio. They have to look presentable, they have to look professional, and they need to look eye-catching in a resume. So if you're good at resume writing, creative writing, helping people catch the eye of an employer, you definitely want to look into resume writing. The next thing you want to look into, that's another honorable mention, is virtual assistants. Why? People still need done work done, but now they're just going to want the work done remotely. So from your computer, from Starbucks, from wherever you have a Wi-Fi connection, virtual assistance will still be needed. Bookkeeping, phone calls, appointments, invoicing, it's going to still be needed. So you guys, I hope this was helpful. Make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel. And these were a couple of ways that I was trying to share with you guys what businesses do well in the recession that you need to go ahead and start right now. So I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, y'all.